What is up, Snurtle Squad? We are here today checking out Lauren's Lure, a game we've checked in the past, but there's a newer prologue that came out back in March, and it's part of the Steam Next Fest. So we're going to give it a look here. It's been a little while since I've done a demo week where we check out a bunch of Steam Next Fest demos uh, for upcoming games that look interesting. So we're going to hit that this week. I've got a whole bunch of them planted to play, so... Should be lots of content for people who've been waiting, because it's been a little while. So this is a game by Rubeki. It's a climbing game where you play as an android inside a megastructure. And you get some... Uh, it's mostly you use ice picks to climb around. And then later you'll get some more tools that won't be in this demo, but we'll, we'll see in the full game when it comes out. They're kind of spoiled in the option menu. There's a dash and a grappling hook. And they're very fun. I played around with them in a beta build before. Rebecca's doing a great job with making the gameplay fun. Also, that cursor is trapped in the middle of the screen. I'm not sure why. Hopefully that fixes when we get in. You can see it jittering a little bit when I move my mouse. I'm also going to mention at the top that uh, the developer for this game, Rubeki, has uh, just today for me, I guess yesterday by the time this video is up, uh, started a Patreon that you can go and pledge to. And for $7 a month Canadian, uh, you can get access to some development streams if you're interested in watching uh, the way things are going with the game and the later stuff. Okay, yeah, that cursor's stuck there. I'm gonna have to fix that. Hold on. Alright, that's better. Uh, I'm not sure what happened there with the cursor, but it is gone now. I had to relaunch the game. We're in here now. So for full disclosure, I have played this already. I was uh, one of the beta testers for some features and also for this uh, demo update. Although I still get a little bit lost sometimes. One struggle, I guess, for building uh, a game where it's a lot of gray on gray is trying to usher the player in the right direction. It's like here, it looks like the pipe's where you want to go, but I make this mistake every time. You're actually trying to go up and over. There's our first crystal there. I think the way you get it is jumping around here. Smash it with our face and we're off to the next section. I don't think I'm gonna go for every crystal, but if there's one on the way that I remember and notice enough to go for, then we'll grab it. If it's out of the way, I'll leave that up for you guys, because I want everyone to check out the demo. Everyone make sure to wishlist and all that if you like the look of it. You can also scan these things to get some information, but I want you guys I want I wanna leave something there for you guys to check out. It's definitely worth exploring and seeing what uh what your experience in the mega structure is like. Oop. Slid off the side there. Thankfully I was on just enough of an angle that it wasn't falling. It was controlled. Boy. This guy's gonna break. There we go. We're about to get the big first feature of this game. A second crystal. But also... Ooh, I can see the E in the distance. It's the ice picks. And a dead guy. An observer that has fallen to their death many years ago. Explorers leave to document 0.23% return rate. Hmm. Who knows if that mold might be something important for later development. We're climbing up, climbing up. We'll say early on as well, if you've got a game 
I mean, if you're making a game and it's in the Steam Next Fest, definitely leave a comment and let me know. But if there's a game that you're excited about in the Next Fest that you want to see played, my uh, trademark crappy style, just a wall. And then, uh, yeah, let me know. I'm definitely down for suggestions. I've got a big list I've already got downloaded that I'm going to be playing through, but I'm not against adding more to the list. Ooh. Should also mention, a lot of Next Fest demos are usually uh, limited time. Like, you can only play them during the fest. Is there some slippery pipes here? Despite being square. Yeah, some of them are limited, but this uh, this one you can play as much as you like. It will not uh, become locked away after the fest, which is nice. I've I think I've said it in like every next fest series I've done, but I'm really not a fan of the uh, time limited demos because like if people have stuff going on and they can't get around to the demo in time, or like the sheer number of demos, you're never going to be able to play everything. So to limit it away and like take the total number of people who could potentially play your game down is just uh, kind of foolish to me. There's actually some games in the past that I wanted to play the demo for. So I downloaded the demo and wishlisted them and then by the time I went to go play it, it was locked and I'm not afraid to say I unwishlisted those games. Because... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of that, like, demos are good things. They let people explore some of your game. They let people see if they're interested or not. Otherwise you end up with people who buy the game and then they get a refund. Because the game isn't what they're looking for and they didn't have a way to see if it was what they wanted. And then, yeah, you're dealing with refunds, and that's, I'd say, arguably worse than the people who play the demo and don't buy it at all. Maybe there's, like, a small percentage of people who buy a game, don't like it, and then don't refund it, but... Yeah, I just don't see the point in locking off a demo. Okay. Get a little bit of stamina back. <laughs> I don't think we could stand on that, but we should be able to climb up here and get across for that guy. I said I wasn't going for the mole, and now I'm already at four out of eight. But all right, we gave that the old college try. I don't quite remember. I think you come down from above. That's the way to get that one. But we're moving on. Don't want to get hung up forever. We're also running out of stamina with nowhere to stand. We're about to die. Conch. Okay. Put me down here, but I want to go up. Because our eventual goal is up. At least for this section. Can I get up there? I guess that's my takeaway, is don't time limit your demos. There's... <laughs> I just don't see a point. Really? I guess I could check the viewfinder to see if it was too far, but... I'm just climbing. I thought that was going to be a death there too, because we were falling for so long. Alright, oop, sliding. Now we get the down section. 
uh, not that kind of down though. That's not what we're looking for. Now we go to the fan. The fan is a very interesting speedrun strat that I'm not gonna do here, but uh, instead of climbing all the way down here, uh oh, I like squished off the wall there. What was that? That was weird. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. It happened again. What's the slope? What part of you is a slope? <laughs> that's that's very interesting. Yeah, uh, for the speed run, instead of coming all the way down here, uh, what people learned is that if you use uh, if you use hardware to limit the frame rate in the game, it'll slow down the speed that the fan turns. I guess it's on like a tick update instead of a solid one. So yeah, if you lower the frame rate, it'll slow down the fan enough that with proper timing you can walk through. Which is a fun uh, little exploit. Not one I've done. I actually haven't done the speedrun for this prologue at all. I speedrun. I did a little bit of speedrunning in the first uh, demo, which some people may remember. But when everyone was figuring out the uh, the routing for this one, I was kind of busy at the time. There's some very solid speed running. Yeah, this fan here, you can sneak past, and it's the glitch. Hello, owl. I'm starting to believe I died down here without ever seeing it again. Finally found the glitch after all these years. Based on some uh, teasers that Rebecca has given before, I think there might be a connection between this game and uh, his previous title, Hatch. So I would recommend, uh, before this game is finished development, maybe go check out Hatch. I'll put a link in the description down below. As well as for this one, the wishlist, and a link for the Patreon if you're interested in that stuff. I want to put lots of clickables. Let's get them. So yeah, that was the updated Lauren's Lure demo. I did it four minutes faster than the last time. I think the speed runs like six minutes. Maybe faster. I can't remember. I haven't checked in a while. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we're kind of free floating here. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.